Hi, John Henry, it's Miss Cooper. Today I'm going to be showing everyone at home a really simple and fun math game that you can play with the entire family. Now, this game is going to be about place value, and we are going to be focusing on making the biggest number possible. So what you'll need is something to write on and something to write with. And then on your piece of paper or whatever you're writing on, you need to draw up some columns which have the hundreds, the tens, and ones. What you also need is some dice. I have found on a free website um, dice that you can use. On the website, what I love is that you can change the dice to have different sides. So I will be showing you in my demonstration a nine-sided dice and then how you can write and put your numbers in here. So the aim of the game, um, as many people can play as they you like, but the aim of the game is to choose where you would like to put a number. So for example, if the dice is shown a seven, you then have to decide if you'd like to place your seven in the hundreds, the tens or the ones column. Now I might, for example, put it in the tens, but whoever I play with might put it in the hundreds. And that might be the highest number that is rolled for that round. So I will be joining um, get, having us joined by a very lovely special guest in one moment who will help us to show you how you can play the game at home. Joined by the lovely Mr. Prince and we are about to play the game that I've just explained to you all. Now we are going to use a virtual dice. Obviously we are not playing this game face to face but if um, you're at home you can do this with um, whoever is at home. Now the way you remember, we're going to roll the dice and Mr. Prince and I are both going to decide if we would like the number that's shown either in the hundreds, tens or ones. Okay, so let's roll the dice. Oh, okay, so I think the number stayed the same, Mr. Prince. So we are now going to choose what, where we would like to place that number. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put it in the hundred column, Ms. Cooper. I think I'm going to take the risk and put it in the tens. So it's not very good. That's okay. So I'm going to write my eight there. Okay. And remember, the aim is that we want to make the biggest number. Okay. I'm going to roll the dice again. Oh, well. Oh no. Pretty lucky because I just rolled a nine. So I'm now going to put my nine in the hundreds side, the hundreds column. I'm going to put mine in my tens. Oh, I think I may have one list of prints. I think I might have. And now I'm going to put the last number in the ones. Okay. So, Mr. Prince, what was your number? Uh, my number is 897. And my number was 987. So I've won that round. But because this game is so fun, we're going to play another round. Oh, I like that. Mr. Prince has just marked it off. That's a great idea. Okay, I'm going to roll again. Let's see who wins this time. Oh, it's a nine. Well. Ooh. I think I've learnt my lesson, Miss Cooper. I'm going to put it in the hundreds column. I actually thought about risking it then and putting it in the ones, but I'm going to take your advice on that and also put it in the hundreds. Let's try another roll. This is where it's going to change. So we have a four. I'm going to put it in the tens column, Mr. Prince. I'm going to put mine in the ones column, Miss Cooper. I love that we are risk takers in our learning. Ooh, oh, and we've got a five. Mm, okay, so my number is 945. What was your number, Mr. Prince? Uh, my number is 954, which means I'm the winner. Woo! So that is how easy you can play this game at home.